This is MHS Talks Education, NIASP 2022. MHS recently attended the New York Association of School Psychologists annual conference. At the conference this year, Dr. Jack Naglieri was recognized with an award titled Legends in School Psychology, presented by his friend and colleague, Dr. John Kelly. Jack, we're going to talk about these pivotal moments in your life. And you're going to hear me kind of refer to that a lot. Can you just share a little bit as, as we kind of start out? You know, what are pivotal moments to you? Can you give them that, that definition for what pivotal moments are for you? I've been reflecting on how sometimes you're going this way and something happens and then you go this way. And you know, kind of like the Robert Frost poem, two, two paths diverge in the wood. Well, really, that's what we're really talking about. Not doing well in school can have a big impact on a person. Because we often think if you don't do well in school, it means you're not smart. Sometimes that message can be uh, communicated to you from other people. For example, the guidance counselor at my high school who said, you might be able to get into college if you find some school somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, because your grades aren't good. And then when I went to CW Post, they let me in, I had to take extra remedial classes. They tested me. And I can still see the person sitting behind her desk, pulling out the file with my name on it, saying, we have your scores, we think you might make it through college. <laughs> Dr. Naglieri went on to describe one pivotal moment that helped him discover his passion for understanding and testing intelligence and ability in youth. And I had this teacher, and he was kind of quirky and different and brilliant. His name was John Carboy. Our uh, final exam for his course on the neuropsychology of learning disabilities. Think about that in the 70s. The neuropsychology of learning disabilities. We had, to, we had to be able to recite every part of the brain that a stimulus goes through from input to output from the, all the modalities. I remember thinking, I can't look into this kid's head. <laughs> but I really want to know cognitively what they can that's why, for me, what John Carboy, Carboy taught, taught us about Luria was understanding the thinking that underlies the learning. And the thinking is based on brain function. And it's that function, those four functional components that my colleague J.P. Das and I use to reimagine what intelligence could be. As Dr. Naglieri went on to recall pivotal moments that shaped both his life and career, the audience was captivated. And with so many accomplishments, one might think Jack might be content with what he's accomplished so far. But Jack's presence at the conference was palpable, as he offered presentations and words of advice throughout. We have to reflect on the methodology that we use to identify gifted children. The methodology is horribly flawed, I'll talk about that later. But we can make a difference, and we can do better. And the impact would be, I've estimated, there's a million and a quarter brilliant, wonderful black and brown kids in K-12 right now who should have been identified and learned. And that needs to be corrected. Dr. Naglieri continues to press on for more equitable identification of gifted students. The latest addition to this work, along with his colleagues Dina Brulias and Kimberly Lansdown, brings him closer to his goal of closing the equity gap. So the biggest problem we have in psychology and in the whole gifted field is that we're using 100-year-old technology to measure intelligence. The three tests that Dina and Kim and I developed, the Naglieri General Abilities Test, Verbal, Nonverbal, and Quantitative, those tests clearly are equitable. And by equitable, I mean they yield very similar scores for children by gender, by race, by ethnicity, and by parental ed level. And that's not what we've experienced all these years with the traditional tests. While Jack is honored to receive the Legends in School Psychology Award, he knows there is more work to be done. It's very honoring and um, it's I feel very very uh, humbled to be able to get such an uh, amazing award and to um, 
to be to be able to get that kind of recognition is just uh, yeah makes you feel good. From all of us at MHS, congratulations on this honor, Dr. Neglieri. We can't wait to see what happens next. Stay tuned for more videos in this MHS Talks education series. Follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn at MHS 